Hello everybody and welcome back for episode 6 of Spooky's House of Jump Scares. I think I have to mention, and I don't mean to be insensitive here or, you know, make light of anything in particular, but I always find it quite interesting when games put us in these sort of out-of-context bizarre situations where essentially I'm looking at a floral pattern cross sitting in front of an iron placard that says password cheese. I mean, that's just kind of an odd moment, isn't it? It's just kind of odd. It's something that you probably wouldn't encounter in life in general. But I just wanted to mention that. So, we're back for another hundred rooms of delightful jump scares and other things that might not be jump scares that might be actually just running through hallways. We'll see. We'll see. I know I've done a few things wrong. Uh, you know, according to the comments, I've passed up a few notes, I've perhaps not used passwords properly, but, uh, a lot of people are saying the passwords are for the arcade game, and then other people are saying they're actually just to unlock the rooms. I think they're just to unlock the rooms, uh, and my mistake for not turning around for that jump scare. Let's see if this out-of-order door works. Oh, it's out of order. I never would have expected such a thing. Okay, well, let's go into Scratchy Door, then, and begin our journey anew. Oh, man. This is gonna be some good stuff. I hear some kind of generic rumblings. All right. I'm gonna try and go maybe a little bit slower since I, uh, I had some criticism that maybe I was rushing too much. Uh, people said I was missing things in the game and it's, it's unfortunate when that happens. But I also don't know ahead of time since I'm playing through this blind what exactly it is that I'm going to see. Uh, yeah, says he's gonna go slowly immediately runs through that hallway. Can't even help myself sometimes. Uh, but yeah, there's monsters that have shown up apparently that, or I could have seen that I hadn't seen because I was in so much of a hurry. It's not because I was scared of the game, it was because I didn't think there was anything going on, and I was just trying to move us along to the next point of interest in this little tour that we're giving here. Um, so, my apologies if that happened, and you were frustrated by that. Is there a note on this chair? There is not. There's not a note on this table. That is fair enough. Let's keep going then. Hey, wait a gosh darn second. That says room 59. You're messing with my mind, mister. What is this all about? We're taking a little tour back in time. I don't believe it. Yeah, I didn't believe it for a gosh darn second. Cannot release twice. Exit through express. Oh, the door's moved. There we go. That's probably better. Yeah, there's the express. I wonder if I would have gone through the other door if I would have just found myself back in the loop from the original part. See, this is an interesting conundrum that this game puts us in because we've been shown that it will adjust itself and change things uh, as we go, but also it still goes ahead in sort of a linear fashion, so how does that work, huh? It, like, it knows how to keep us moving forward by recycling the same rooms. It wants us to get through 1,000 individual rooms but it can loop the rooms however it sees fit? I don't know. So I'm trying to think back to the things that commenters pointed out as far as what I missed. I guess the specimen that was like a spider, I didn't really linger in that region long enough, and then the... was it the mannequin nurse that uh, caused the world to turn into blood lava? That might have been a thing as well. I mean, I did see that one at least. I just didn't really hang out with her. My only regret with that particular... Uh, you got me. You got me that time. I was sort of lulled into such complacency by talking. That was the first time it actually made me stop my speech. Um, and I also forgot what I was saying, so... Well done! You've got one win on this one. Uh, okay, so not right or left. Straight, straight, straight... No. Alright, it could. it's too good to be true. It can't be straight, 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 straight. Two, three, left. Done. Oh, this is a very narrow corridor, isn't it? Oh, and we've got the Silent Hill crashing sound, so I'm gonna go actively in the other direction because someone said... Oh, there's a thing. What are you doing? I don't know what that even is. I should probably not risk standing too close to it, but I do want to see it, like, come out of the wall if I could. I guess it's just too narrow in here to see. Hopefully I'll be able to catch it in this room. We'll just get a little bit of distance first. Oh, there you are! You do open the doors. That's interesting. I wonder if I can get around it if I get a wider room. See if I can look through the door that it crashed through. You coming through? Oh, there you are. Alright, that's pretty cool. 
Still not quite wide enough here for me to risk doing a juke move here. Uh, Alright, it's too narrow again. A lot of narrow hallways lately. Uh, let's go through here. Oh. Got some mistexturing going on. Things are getting a little iffy, huh? I guess you can kind of probably just walk through the... Oh, no, you do actually follow the walls. Alright, good for you. You're not giving me any good opportunities here at all. In the event that something like this was going... Oh, this is a good chance right here. Let's, uh, let's carry you around this way. Uh, in the event that someone was being chased by this monster, what are the odds of actually getting caught, considering everything's kind of just set up for you? No, I guess not. Can I taunt you into an attack animation, or do you even do such a thing? Eh, it doesn't look like you do. You might just walk into me. But yeah, since we can walk away from this thing in, like, a linear fashion, I don't really know what could really happen to us that would be all that bad. It's not like there's a lot of mazes where we've got to double back on ourselves. Really, the only time that ever happens is those big open areas. Um, this is the one with the little cut through around the back. You know, I find it interesting also that the developer took the time to create that whole animation with the little eye needle thing uh, for that one specific instance, and it makes me wonder if all of the enemies have some kind of an animation I just haven't seen because I haven't died to them. I mean, the other one had like a text thing going on, which is fair enough. You're trying to keep me moving forward here and I can't find the door. There we go. I guess that's really the only time I could really get killed is if I just get so disoriented from not finding the door because of the, the blood walls, but it's not really enough to get me, I don't think. Now yeah, you're putting up a good chase today. How come we're recycling this monster so much for the this entire game, I wonder? Did that just change? Oh, hi there. Are you a new one? I don't think I've seen you before. Very cute. So we're almost to 550, and we haven't really seen anything all that new or different. Oh, and by the way, if I do run into another computer room, I am going to check out the terminal, because... Well, we're like more than halfway through the game now, and I haven't found anything new in one of those recently, so... May as well see what's up. Oh, this is interesting. What is this all about? Alright, for real though, like, this is... Is this actually just a glitch, or... Is this supposed to do this? Because I don't understand. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're not meant to see down into those pits. Or through the wall. I don't know what that is all about. Oh, here we go. Here's something new. Alright. Uh, what's our reference here? I want to say my first instinct is Fatal Frame. But I don't know a lot of the horror games that this has been referencing as I've learned... Are we going to have ghosts and ghouls and all kinds of things? Uh, for a while, I thought I'd really escape this place, but despite the trees and flora, I think this is actually just another room. I did, however, find deer, so I might at least get to eat. They make some strange sounds, though. You know, fun fact about deer, I live in an area where there are quite a few of those, and they really do make some very creepy sounds. You might not expect it, but they'll make sounds that sound kind of demonic at times. If you're out in the dark and there's a few of them just hanging out by some trees, you can see, or maybe hear, what's going on. Uh, I don't know what they are, but those are definitely not deer. I tried sneaking up on one the other day to kill for food. How are you going to kill it? Do you have a rock or something? Uh, but it saw me as soon as I got close. I was barely able to get away from the thing. I managed to board up most of them. Board up most of them. Hopefully I can find another way out of here. So we're going to encounter, like, crated-up deer demons in the woods of the outside region. Oh, there's our axe, finally. Click to swing. Wow, that was a little cartoony animation. That's actually a nice touch, isn't it? So I've just let the deer free, I suppose. So probably just avoid those. I don't really know what the advantage of going after them would be. But I guess we're meant to try. 
Oh yeah, that's a an interesting thing that just happened there. All right, so yeah, they're not actually deer. Big surprise. Gave us all the hints we needed. Uh, so this challenge is don't walk too close to them or you aggro them and they come and bite you. Got it. Oh, yeah, almost got me behind that tree there. Very sneaky, sis. Around we go. Oh, there's cool runes all over this building. Oh, I like this. Ancient evil, time to duel. So we're going to the center of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pyramid. This is everything I've ever wanted. Oh, boy. Oh, it's... The deer god, I guess. Alright. What's the gimmick here, I wonder? Just run away, or... Are we getting static to death? Oh, that is cool. I don't know... What I'm doing, though. Like, if there's... If there's a thing I'm doing wrong that's gonna get me killed, I might not find out for a little while yet. Thankfully, it didn't one-shot me, though. I love how the jump scares actually have to stop you in your tracks, like they physically stop your character from moving forward. This music's pretty sweet, too. Maybe you should just be quiet for a second and let you listen to the sweet music. The uh, satanic howling and stuff is not helping me either, but, you know. Still not particularly scary, just because, well, the thing does not seem to chase me very hard. I think they severely underestimate your ability to move quickly through the series of rooms. Unless I'm going to turn a corner, it's just going to be waiting for me. That would be appropriate. It seems like a lot of things, though, really do seem to favor the advantage of the player, with the exception of, like, the gaps in logic when it comes to how to solve some of these conundrums. I mean, granted, they can't just straight up spell that stuff out. That would be boring, too. I like that little chime. That's nice. So, 584... Is that really it? That was just the little deer sequence? That's all we get? I don't know. Maybe I was getting my hopes too high or something. Somebody said as a comment also, like, I'm probably just not going to be scared by this game. That's fine. I didn't know going into it. I hadn't played it before. If uh, it turns out that I am successful in my challenge, then that is all I asked. And it's, it's a journey, right? It's not about the destination. It's about getting where we're going. Through all 1,000 rooms. Oh. Really, still? I was expecting it to be out by now. Might as well try and hit it with the axe. Yeah. One of these times, though, I've got to walk into one of these rooms, and it's just going to be like, nope, you're not, you're not in that anymore. It doesn't even have to necessarily break. It's just we've seen it so many times, just like have it not be in there, and that would be enough. Uh, I'm going to say right. Nope. Left. Yes. Left. Nope. Okay, left, right. Nope. Left, center, center, left. Yes. I almost wanted to say I'm getting good at these, but there's not really anything to get good at. Just about getting lucky. Staying up all night to do so. 596. I think we're gonna make it, guys. I think we're gonna make it. We're just uh, a few rooms away now. Any surprises for me? I'm a little astounded sometimes, the lack of, like, climax when it comes to the finishing of 100 room increments. Like, it seems like the game just kind of, like, lets you just go. I figured they would use this as a real point of, like, suspense and leverage. But it just stays pretty much random throughout, unless this is still just a thing that is not completely implemented. So we've got an axe now, we've killed a single deer. I don't see myself killing many more, uh, unless we run into a lot more of them. But anyway, I guess that'll do it for this episode. Uh, a little bit of an interesting twist and turn here. Glad we finally got our freaking weapon after all this time. Uh, but what horrors await us in the following rooms, we shall see. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you on the next one.